Hey, what's up guys? This is Tan Tan here and first and foremost, I wish you all a happy new year. I know that 2020 has been really rough on us with COVID-19 and everything. So upon that, I wish all of you a happy new year and I hope that 2021 will be the new head start for us as the second year of the new decade. And so to fly off with this year, first review, I'm, I'm going to do a review on my Transformer Wolf of Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Air Razor. She's the character that appears in Beast War and bound to be repeated again in the upcoming Kingdom. And speaking of Wolf of Cybertron, my analysis and thoughts on Earthrise will be up soon, so stay tuned for that. So now let's begin. So here we have Air Razor in her alternate mode, which is a Falcon. So a little bit of speak about the old Beast War cartoon. So as you all know that her pod got damaged and then she got woken up by Rhinox. And so she is the only Autobots on the team that can fly. And so here we have her alternate mode and let's have a closer look. <coughs> uh, so the first thing I have to compliment about this figure will be the, her head sculpt. I absolutely adore this Falcon head sculpt. It is really nicely detailed. It I'm gonna bring it closer for you can see all the nice feathery texture of her. So you got the grayish brownish colors mixed with the white. The eyes are black and the peak is on another different kind of brownish gray but this time it looks really hard and not as furry and soft as the other texture of hers. <clears throat> we got some orange here, resort, uh, orange and yellow but this is the result of the robot mode we can not ask too much about it and I'm gonna Bring in her wingspan as you see. So this is what I really enjoy. The wingspan of her looks absolutely beautiful. As you can see, this wingspan is really, really long. So for the comparison, I'm gonna bring in the Deluxe Chiro in just so you can see the length of the wingspan. And just look at that wingspan. It is even longer than Chiro, plus the tail and everything. So this wingspan is really accurate in the terms of scale. If a beast, if a bird should fly, so it should be able to have this kind of wing. And of course the tail is really nice as well. You can see all that nice texture there. And I absolutely adore that. A little bit of minus on the back because that brown, brown piece on the back, that should be the armor for the robot mode. So I guess they cannot make it too much of the similar similarities but that is okay to me and I'm gonna bring in the, the feet as well so this is the feet um, in my opinion this feet looks fine I wish there's some highlight onto the feet and the talons but I guess it is what we got with the deluxe class and other than that because this will be the robot leg so it kind of, it kind of look weird so I'm gonna try to put it into the flying post so you can see so here we have the air razor flying post this is the base that comes with the Studio Series Soundwave and as you can see this is the feet that has been pulled into the back into the flying post and it looks okay to me kind of weird if you look from the side to side angle but if you look from the front it is totally fine and of course the Soundwave base is kind of weak to hold this figure so you may have to use some you may want to use some different action base so first of all about the articulation I'm going to talk about the head so it can rotate just like that you can move up and down like that and the peak can be open that is really nice for deluxe class you know uh, I'm gonna skip about the leg because I, that I want to talk about that more in the robot mode so let's get into the main event which is the wing here the wing here is absolutely beautiful this you've got two set of hinge join which is four join onto this and this can fold in which is really impressive so he actually she actually can stand like that which is really impressive I mean like if you look set her at this alternate piece mode and if you set her at this angle so she will be at the wings will be able to cover up all the other robot cables if you ask me and so now let's get to some size comparison so for some size comparison we have the two female bots from Beast World which is Black Arachnia and Eraser and I mean like their size are quite similar except for the fact that a spider is nearly the size of a Falcon, but to me that is fine. And I'm gonna bring in Chiro next. Yeah, and of course because of the transformation way is different. Like for Air Razor, that is like you fold in the whole body, but with Ch Chiro is that you lengthen the body. So yeah. So I think now that is enough for size comparison. Now let's get to some transformation. So for the transformation, first off, take out this back piece, and you'll be able to flip out the head. 
Then about this one, you can pull the arms out. And this will go into this slot right here. So that is pretty nice engineering how they can manage to hold the whole body up with the use of minimal parts. And then you just strengthen the arms. And then here, there's this tap, tap into her thighs. So you're just gonna bring it out. And bring it straight up the leg. And you can rotate the feet. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing over here. And then rotate the leg. So at this point here, you can rotate the whole waist section. It's kind of blocky though, so you can might be able to remove this thing. Just like that. And this is the interesting part here. So this whole section here is based on a Z connection point. So you just want to collapse the whole things down. Just like that. And you can start collapsing this back piece in. And you can bring this to arrow piece and snap it onto her arms. And you can start collapsing the wings. And we're done. So I mean like Ares is a really nice and interesting transforming. It is what I expected but with some really nice gimmick and features and I absolutely adore that. This is my compliment for Hasbro for doing such a really nice and interesting transform. With And I absolutely adore the way that the arms and the legs are tapped in, into the Falcon mode. And straight from that, I mean like this is a nice transformation for Deluxe class and it continues to show that Hasbro engineering has gone so much better since they first start producing transformer figures. So here we have the closer look for Air Razor in her robot mode and first let's look at the head sculpt because I, I, I think that is a really highlight. So the head sculpt her is purple and don't ask me why because that is a tendency for the old animator to do that especially this one. You know they have some weird color scheme of the face like Cheeto has the blue. But anyway, this purple looks great. This is some guy, well, I think it's a, what, a metallic purple, which is really nice. And the eyes, you can see there's a black and green color on it, which is really good. And you can see her lips as well. And other design of the gold and the orange. And this is where it really pops up. I really enjoy the orange highlights in the robot mode because it looks to have the feel of like a tribe leader or some some sort anyway that is the head sculpt and so i absolutely enjoy this kind of design with the eagle the the peak is on as a helmet and and oh you got all the furry texture so as a chest as you see this is clearly the falcon head with a orange snap and i absolutely enjoy the orange snap and you see it with all this line thing with some panel lining she would she would looks really great and the, of course the falcon head is a little bit of too much of a kibbly it shows but to me it's fine it's fine though and of course we have the arms and the arms highlight will be the Maximo logos on it. I absolutely enjoy that details. And the armors on the shoulders looks really nice. And if you turn the arms, you can see inside the arms. And see, I they even made the details in here, which is really nice and interesting. Talk about the waist section a little bit. I enjoy her skirt design. And as you can see here, the skirt is really nice with the gold highlight on the orange. But as it is really nice though. And come on the thighs, we have some white paint on it. This is a white paint onto the orange. And apart from that, we have the leg, which is dark gray, and the feet, as we have seen in the robot mode. And of course, look at the amount of details of armory in the in the robot leg. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. But then a shame that it is hollow in the back. But I guess it's because of the transformation gimmick. So about that, uh, there are many of you who question why you need to reverse. So actually, the talons here is actually serve as some kind, some, some kind of a holder for the wing, because in the robot mode, the wing will it will, it will be really back heavy so if you rotate it again back to the normal position these figures will be very easy to collapse so here we have the size comparison between air razor and black arachnia and you may look as like black arachnia might be a little bit taller but they are on the same height the only reason that black arachnia looks taller is because of her slim body design so yeah they look great together so let's, now let's bring in our fellows maximo so here we have chiro and I mean they still look good together as a team because they are part of the sibling that they never had. So for the accessories, she doesn't come with anything except for the two golden arrows. So I'm gonna pluck them out and bring them in closer to the camera for you to see. 
so that is what we have and yeah you can plug it onto her thighs like that or her arms her hole like that or just plug it into the other way that is all we got with the accessories so for the articulation first we begin with the head you can look up and that is on the bow joint so it can rotate like that the arms can move out like that and yeah there's this armor piece so we get to do full rotation but this kind of blocked by the wings here so you can you got a swivel this is the bend of the elbow and you got another bend but that is more for more the transformation and no hand swivel the hips can rotate that is for the transformation and the leg can kick but if it hinge just bring in the skirt here so kick all the way to the up fr up front and all the way to the back which is really great you got a really nice split you got a thigh swivel the band of the elbow at uh, the band of the knee so here we have the feet articulation and of course it's a ball joint and then you got some final if you want to do with that so I think so then we got the wings and what I think I absolutely enjoy is that the full wing articulation is still being kept in this mode so that is really really nice add up to the collection so you can still have access to the full transform articulation of the wings so I mean like with Air Razor here, I mean she's a really nice deluxe class. She blows my mind and I absolutely adore her. So I think this is definitely a must have if you are collecting the Kingdom line. So what do you guys think of this figure? Feel free to call, tell me in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow my Instagram. And if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. So Tonton out.